Yay! Yay! Hi, Face everybody. Facebook Live Friday. Welcome, everybody. We're going to uh, geek up the show a little bit, let you know what's coming. And um, remember, at the end, we got the entertainer, the official entertainer of Sports Stories, Ray Castro, singing um, a special song tonight. So we redid our, our um, setup here. Uh, the last time was a little bit too far away, so we're not going to have pictures that go along with this, but we have some other archives, like these hats, for example. Uh, since we can't wear these for like the next three months, we thought we'd put them out here because... I know, I found all the hats of all the uh, franchises that are um, that are out, so there you go. Oh, oh cheers. happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Cheers to you guys. All right, so we'll bring you up to speed on a few things. One, I think yesterday was unlike any other day, uh, watching all the... Um, the uh, various organizations drop and um and just one by one and then just the calamity of it all and, yeah. and it was it, it was it was pretty big so you know that said we're, we're facing times that we've never seen before but we feel pretty good about trying to um fill the void we do, with, yeah. with some sports programming we will tell you the sports stories that you can't watch on tv so we'll give you guys some stories um speaking of which the day the sports world went black yeah um you know, I like Bill Plasky a lot, Los Angeles Times. He's a columnist. I think he's one of the voices of Los Angeles, and I'm making an uh, unabashed um, plea for him to come on the show. <laughs> Thursday will be forever remembered, he wrote, as the day that sports went dark, turning off the lights, nailing plywood over its windows. The one thing that's long helped America endure a national uh, crisis was games. And now suddenly, the, with this health crisis peaking, the games have disappeared. Yeah. Um, Plasky always seems to... to to memorialize yeah. things pretty well. He what, did that yeah. with Kobe, too. What hit me the hardest was thinking about all these uh, athletes in college that are seniors and will yeah. not get to play their last year of college. Um, that is rough. It's just, it hits, hits home for me. <clears throat> um, and I loved March Madness. It was probably my favorite sporting event of all time. And that's not happening. It's just kind of it's devastating to the world right now who loves sports and, like, has that as their outlet. And we'll try to we'll try to uh, get after it, but first we want to tell you what's on now. Uh, Tyrone Powell is yes. um, on now. He's an athletic director. That's that's published now at Windward School in, in West Los yep. Angeles. So yesterday we published Tyrone Powell, who is the athletic director at Windward. Um, we kind of showcased their freshman phenom, Juju Watkins, who's amazing. We told you about her last week. In uh, fact, um, Juju Watkins comes in a line of a lot of great players yes. at Windward. Uh, one of them was Charisma Osborne, and she's at um, UCLA right now, yeah. and she was just named Pac-12 Freshman of the and Year. And shout out to her. She liked one of our tweets that she we did. tweeted out. Yeah, so, she got after it. Hey, Charisma. So with Jordan Canada killing it in the WNBA, Charisma in college, Juju is only ninth grader at, uh, at, at Windward. Yeah, and she's, good. And she's, she's going to light it up. We actually played Windward one time when we – we're oh, coaching back in the day. We were up 4-0. We called a timeout. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of that. Yeah, we do stuff. have a picture of that. Now, um, we also want to give a shout-out to Rock Pillsbury and the Sierra Canyon Trailblazers. Rock has broken the Sports Stories record On our with YouTube, the most yeah. YouTube views. He just beat out Mike Martini. Poor, poor guy. But he did. Um, it was a good interview with Rock, if you want to go back and listen to it. It was uh, two weeks ago. Not this last week, the week before. Yep. Um, it was a really good interview on Rock, uh, athletic yep. director at Sierra Canyon. I actually talked to him on the phone yesterday, yeah. and he just had a rough day because, I guess, they are in the state championships, and that just got canceled. Yeah, so the state championships for high school uh, was canceled. They're not going to name a um, a champion. They're just going to leave yeah. it vacated. Which they should have done that, I guess, right? Well, they should have done that for the, the the Astros. Jeez, what the heck? Cheating Astros. So with the CIF canceled, um, also along that line, the premier um, junior beach volleyball um, tour yes. in the country is the Amateur Athletic Union um, Beach Volleyball Tour, which we are close to. Yes. Shout out to Gino Grajeda as well and, and Tyler. And Christine, everybody on staff. Hey, but, and Darren. And Darren, uh, we want to. Um, we just do want to say though that um, we've canceled our events for March 15 and March 22. Yeah. In particular, March 22 would have been right alongside. It's, LA, it's that time of year the with Long the Beach Long Beach Grand Prix, Prix, and they've also canceled. So, uh, shout out being there. Everything's canceled in the world. It's going a little crazy. So we're going to step into this void, and we're going to try to bring you as much information and program as we can. And the first one, I'm really pumped about. Um, we're going to have on Dr. Uh, Bert, Bert Mandelbaum. Mandelbaum. So Dr. Bert Mandelbaum, he's the United States Olympic Committee um, team doctor. Yes, he is. Right? And he's also the director of FIFA um, Excellence in Medicine. He's a team physician for the United States National Soccer he's Team. He's a badass. He is. And, and he's also the team doctor for the LA Galaxy. Yeah. He, I just talked to him on the phone today. He's going to come on next week, and we're going to turn the program around in one day. 
so that we can get that information to you. And it's going to be super relevant because yeah. he's right there. He's, he's, he's in on those Olympic committees, yep. right? He's there with the uh, MLS and, um, and he certainly has a lot um, that he could fill us in on. And that, that should be a really good episode. I'm excited about that one. He's a wealth of knowledge, obviously, with all of his accolades that he has. But I'm excited to talk to him. It's been a while since we've seen him. We used to coach his daughter. We did. And we actually did a whole thing at SMC about injury prevention, which he has a book about. Which he, which he does, yeah. And he's an author of the book, Win Within. So that's a pretty good score for us. So next Thursday, that'll air. And that yes. should be a really good show. So check that out. I um, also want to make an announcement. I think this is going to be really fun. Mike Bowley, who is the uh, head volleyball coach at Loyola, Loyola High School. So Loyola High School, one of the powers of boys volleyball um, in Los Angeles and also the country His because went there. Southern California is, is particularly Vaughan. strong. Uh, Mike Bowley's won six Southern Section titles since he's been the coach there, three state wow. and a national championship in 2009 as recognized by ESPN Rise, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, now, Mike, Mike Bowley, all disclosure, is uh, my second cousin, but I grew up you know, playing with him and stuff, but he's a legit coach that has, has really made his mark in volleyball. So with all the high school sports down, Loyola also is down for at least the next 30 days, but they're leaving room for, for perhaps the spring season is going to yeah, happen, right? Hopefully. So Mike is going to fill us in on a periodic basis. He'll come by here. He'll do both a Facebook Live and some segments for our podcast. So it'll be, in effect, like a reality show of a <laughs> high school coach who's going through yeah. the, the, you know this whole, this whole crisis but he's going to be working with this team because I think they're going to practice during this downtime. Crazy. So we'll get to know the team a little bit. I did want to let Mike know <laughs> that uh, in the paper uh, yesterday, a yesterday? couple days ago, right before they canceled, it mentions their number one rival, Miracosta, is preparing for Ooh, their first title. Since which, 2012. So that's straight out call it MB. <laughs> pretty much. And the Lo Loyola Cubs it pretty out. much said F-U-M-B on that. Every year they play one another. And they host a game at Loyola Marymount, and they sell Loyola Marymount College wow. out. It's a really unbelievable like That's celebration crazy. of boys volleyball. So we want to welcome Mike Bowley to it. That should yeah, be really Andy. good. Yeah, um, We also want to fill you in on a few other um, yeah. interviews that we've been doing that we had that are coming in the queue. Yeah, uh, I think everybody probably watched Fury Wilder uh, fight. So the announcer for that was Jimmy Lennon Jr., another cousin of mine. But he came in. He did an interview. That's going to air soon. Yes. Um, how about this one, Marley? This one was incredible. So we took um, a little live podcast tour over to the coffee company in La Tierra, and we got to interview this incredible guy that I knew nothing about until this three-hour interview. Norm Bass, everybody. Norm yeah. Bass was professional major, or major league baseball and football. He played both of those. Um, so he he a, also dated yeah. Aretha Franklin. He did. He had an amazing life. He was the first ever African-American to play both major league baseball and, and pro football. Yeah. But he, his brothers, Dick Bass, was an all-star, all-pro player for the Rams. Rams yeah. So they had a little juice. And then in their area, the Rat Pack was big at this time. Mm -hmm. So this is like the 60s. They called themselves the Black Pack. So every key <laughs> um, uh, entertainer, athlete that came through, through Los house. Angeles yeah. partied with yeah. them in that area. So he tells you all about those days, tells you about meeting Clinton because he got run out of athletics by severe rheumatoid arthritis. arthritis. He can't, like, grip a baseball anymore. So then he got into... So, yeah, he was a young man at 26, yeah. got run out, but he reinvented himself later in life as a para Paralympic he athlete. Went to the Olympics. Won a bronze medal. Won a bronze medal. So, what a man. What, what a great story so he has. stay tuned for that. We didn't, we didn't spill all the beans on that. You still want to listen to the podcast. Yeah. This is another one we're working on. It's going to be a three- or four-part series. Now, this book right here was written by Jerry Booth, and he's a, um, a novelist and a historian that lives in the Northwest, uh, or rather the Midwest, up in uh, Northeast Ohio. Yeah. Um, we did a story on a football, football coach team. and his last thing. He's motivational technique called the 212. Uh, we'll, we'll explain more about that, but that's going to be a three, four-part story we're looking yeah. forward to. If you don't know anything about Midwest football, it's crazy. Um, the fans pack the stadium even in zero-degree weather, and it's just incredible. And the story that we have, we have all these archives, all this video. We cannot wait to show you. I actually am looking at this board right now because we have all of our – We had a, we had a crew out. attend the last game, and it was the final game. The coach uh, uh, coach for that, uh, Tim Willis, and he also had a uh, bunch of his players from 20 years that came back to pay tribute to him. Yeah. And so it was really emotional, and it was a lot of fun. And, and so you'll learn a lot about Midwest – and how they treat football out there, but also a unique guy yep. that's out that way. Um, we also interviewed this guy. Coach Karai, everybody. So um, easily, I, I mean, I think it's easy to argue. He's the greatest uh, volleyball player ever with two indoors and a beach gold. 
Um, and, and, and he's also our United States Olympic uh, women's coach right now. And so he's obviously going through a questionable time yeah. whether or not those Olympics are going to be moved or postponed. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't know quite yet, but we booked a, uh, about um, 100 minutes with him. And Karch is an unbelievable yeah. guy. He, he, transfer, he was kind of like a Tiger Woods. He was he was bigger than the sport. He was in popular culture, wow. and he, he was really something back in the yeah. 80s and into So the join 90s. us for a Karai July. Thank you. Karai Thank you. July. No, funny. A Karai July. All of July is um, of Karch Karai. And that's just Coach Wooden, because you know Coach Wooden's always part of our show. And there's something funny. So Teresa Dolan uh, commented down here, and she said we should have a Real Coaches of L.A. So let's just do a whole segment on the Real, on the coaches, real coaches of, of L.A. LA. Good plan. Oh, Good idea, Teresa. 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 <laughs> um, the last one I didn't mention, but I can throw this one out here. Atcha, we uh, attended the um, unveiling of the Hank Gathers statue. You mentioned that last week. Right, and Wayne Boley will also, uh, the lead attorney for Loyola Marymount, in that he'll be our um, guest on an upcoming episode as well. So we're loaded. We got some really relevant things that are coming up. Now, everybody came for, we know you didn't come for this. We know what you came for. You came for <laughs> the entertainer, the official entertainer of Sports Stories with Denny Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen. It's known as the box cobbler in the circles of the VBC. <laughs> right here, we call him Rick. We're caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Because I love you too much, baby. Why can't you see? What you doing to me when you don't believe a word I say? We can't go on together this is the best part. with suspicious minds, and we can't build our dreams on suspicious minds. I'll see you next week. All right. Bye, guys. Okay. See you next week. Oh, yeah. Go look at sportsstoriespodcast.com. Uh, follow us, like us, subscribe. Great.